It's time for Community Matters, a service of TCB Broadcasting in Lyons. Today's show is brought to you by Vidalia Federal Savings in Lyons and Vidalia, and by Todd Padgett Housing Center in Claxton. Now, let's find out what's going on in our community with your host, Tony Doc Warlock. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to this edition of Community Matters. I'm your host, the Doc. And it's a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning. Scott, Yay. it's the first Wednesday of the new year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, man. And Happy New Year to everybody who's listening on this morning. And uh, we are blessed for our first show of the year to have two special people in the studio with us. None other than the beautiful, everybody knows her, Miss Ann Owens is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her trusty sidekick in uh, the debonair himself. Mr. Mike Hagan is in the building. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Good to have you all. We're here. Um, both of you are with the chamber. And we've got a big event coming up tomorrow. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do... Uh, is tell our listeners, our community, it's a great event for our community. Um, as always on Community Matters, we want to talk about those things in our community that really make a difference, and this is one of them. So um, they always say ladies first, so we won't break <laughs> protocol. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you just kind of warm us up to uh, what's happening tomorrow, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Well, um, I'm the Director of Community Development for both the Chamber and the Toombs County Development Authority. Mm -hmm. So uh, part of my role is that I am part of the Public Policy Council. Okay. And Mike Hagan is our chairman this year of the council and was last year right. as well. <clears throat> and hopefully, Excellent. if I pay him enough, he'll stick around next year, too. Yes, Mike. Uh, you could probably twist my arm. He does <laughs> make the big money as a volunteer, you know. <laughs> um, right. So, tomorrow, we've got our annual legislative luncheon. Right. Okay. We've been doing this since the early 90s. It hasn't always been a luncheon. I think uh, 2019 was the first year that we switched it from a breakfast mm -hmm to a luncheon mm -hmm. and then we did have we skipped a year for having a regular public luncheon in 2021 because of covid mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. did a virtual event okay um it has always been very successful we've always drawn a very good crowd mm -hmm. uh the the last several years since we've been doing it as a luncheon we've held it at the first baptist church in lyons okay and that is where it will be this year. They are very generous and gracious to help us with this event. Oh, yes. Excellent. Um, I appreciate that. And it is, it is the perfect venue to have it. Uh, we usually have, this year we've got, I want to say 226 people. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, wow. Registered to come. That's excellent. And um, we sell full tables to it through our REACH program. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're just really excited. We have a very nice luncheon with it. We, we are very strict about time because right. this is usually yeah, yeah. something that people yeah. do during their yeah. lunch hour. Yeah, lunch hour. Um, we did um, invite Rick Allen okay. and Raphael Warnock, but mm -hmm. they obviously are very busy right now. <laughs> so um, they, they were unable to come, but they were were invited so right. representative lisa hagan and senator blake tillery will be there they speaking. will be there mm -hmm. okay so they are confirmed they are confirmed. yes they That's are right excellent so last year um in comparison to the numbers uh how are we looking um i want to say we had about 170 last year mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's just it continues to grow every year excellent excellent um so so this year we have our to I would say local representatives. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, and so, Mike, what can we expect in terms of the forum? Well, uh, the forum will start out with uh, acknowledgement of our sponsors. Uh, we're going to introduce everybody. Um, we always have the Pledge of Allegiance okay. and um, a prayer um, offered by Pastor Danny Williams. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to get right into the program. Uh, like Ann said, 
we don't want to waste anybody's time. We want to be a, a efficient and get right to the heart of the matter. And the heart of the matter is having a great lunch, mm -hmm. having some great networking and fellowship with people from our community, leaders from our community, mm -hmm. and hearing from our legislators. So uh, during the main part of the program, um, after we've uh, sung the national anthem and presented mm -hmm. the colors and everything, we will um, interview uh, Lisa first. Okay. Uh, Lisa's going to present to us, uh, probably speak for 15 minutes or so, mm -hmm. and then we'll have some questions. Okay. And then Blake, and then some questions. Excellent. And then we'll wrap up. So right. we should be out by, you know, uh, 115 or so. Right. Speaking of questions, I do want to mention real oh, yeah. quickly that we um, we have put it out there for the community to submit questions to us. We're not going to actually have people standing up during the event to ask questions during that time. Um, but right. you still have time to submit questions to me at info at greatervidaliachamber.com. Mm -hmm. So email me something that you're wanting to know and, and we'll try. We, won't, we have probably a dozen or so questions right now mm -hmm. uh, but like I said in the interest of time we, we won't be able to get to all of them but we, we would very much like for the community to submit okay some well, we'll, we'll come we'll talk about that we'll come back to that again um, for all of our listeners uh, tell us I mean uh, this the, the luncheon I know you mm -hmm. said it started early 90s uh, what is the purpose well, the, the luncheon is part of our overall agenda for the chamber to um, promote awareness of how policy, both mm -hmm. at the state, local level, but okay. in this particular case it can be the state level because we have state represent, representative and senator there, mm -hmm. um, how it affects our businesses. Um, that, that policy creates the environment in which our businesses either succeed or fail. Wow. So y you really see a lot of interest in hearing from these legislators on what the upcoming agenda is mm -hmm. um, in the Capitol uh, when the session begins. And the session will begin next Monday, January oh, wow. 9th. So right. they're getting right uh, into it. They're getting right into it. And uh, for 40 days, they're going to be meeting and uh, making laws that affect people right here on the ground in Tombs and Montgomery counties. Mm -hmm. So, you know, y you see a lot of interest in what they have to say, um, you know, what their priorities are, uh, what they share about leadership priorities mm -hmm. in our state. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I guarantee you're going to hear about mm -hmm. is that Georgia remains the number one state in which to do business in this country. <laughs> Um, yeah, absolutely. Go Georgia. Um, and our local community is a great place to do business. Mm -hmm. The chamber is a big, relevant part of that, of creating the environment in which our businesses can succeed. And we think it is important for us to have uh, a voice when it comes to state and local public policy. So that's why I put this event on, to kind of create that environment where we can talk about those mm -hmm. issues that affect these businesses and, um, you know, seek to, to hear and to be heard by. Um, so to, to have it at the time that we're having it, it actually allows us a forum to perhaps maybe uh, give some influence yeah, to it, the policy. It, 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 and, uh, absolutely, Doc. It's not by accident that we do this at this mm -hmm. time of year because everybody's getting excited about what, what's going to happen in the session this mm -hmm. year. And this gives us a chance to hear from them right before they go mm -hmm. and, um, you know, hopefully have some influence but mm -hmm. also understand, you know, what those priorities are. Mm -hmm. Now, who's the brain thrust? Uh, behind this. Oh, the clearly it's Anne. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I inherited it. I didn't create it. I just inherited it. Um, it. But I think I think the point also needs to be made that a lot of people say, well, what what is a chamber and what do I get out of right, it? Okay. What do they do for me? Right. This is a huge example exactly. of, right. what, of what it is. We, mm -hmm. we are, um, among many other things, one of the uh, most important roles we have is to provide information Mm -hmm. and knowledge about what's going on mm -hmm. not just in our community but statewide uh, and this is one of the ways we do that I mean this is uh, an example of pulling all of our you know basically our elected officials in one room mm -hmm. right. and somewhat getting them on the same page as it pertains to our community um, how often does that happen 
Well, yeah. we, want, we want to make sure it happens more often mm -hmm. in the community because we think it's important to do so. so That's excellent. But um, we're, we're very thankful that this event is so well attended, mm -hmm. uh, that it's well supported by our community. Um, what you're going to see there tomorrow is a cross-section of the leadership of our community, mm -hmm. uh, both in business and in local government. There will be uh, local law enforcement there. We'll have um, mayors, city councils, county commissioners, um, and, and others, and then business yeah. leaders in all different segments of the business community are going to be represented. So, wow. um, and uh, business people from other counties, too. Business people from other wow. counties. Which, which is always very impressive, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's because we're just that good. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> I was thinking it, and you said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and let me just say one other couple of, couple of things about that. I, I did want to make sure and also mention education as well. We mm -hmm. usually have strong attendance from our uh, educators, our superintendents, and principals as well. That's good. And... I mean, I agree with Ann. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we have folks coming from surrounding counties to this event. Mm -hmm. um, the, the chamber uh, obviously uh, represents well uh, Toombs and Montgomery counties, but we acknowledge and recognize that our businesses reach beyond the borders of these two counties. And That's we have good. plenty of members that are not, you know, actually in we Toombs and Montgomery counties. We represent over 13 counties. That's right. Wow, wow, wow. Super, super good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are uh, with Mr. Mike Hagan and Miss Ann Owens, and we're talking about our business luncheon on tomorrow. We're going to take a break. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get into the details of what we can expect on tomorrow. We want to know who uh, is going to be singing the national anthem and some other things. Uh, so right after these messages, we'll be right back. Come back and be with us. Smarter, not harder. Here at Vidalia Federal, we are all about that phrase as we strive to make your life easier. No more drowning in paperwork or being interrogated over the idea of buying a house. Getting a home loan should be an enjoyable, simple process, not a daunting task. This is Julia McKenzie with Vidalia Federal Savings Bank, and I am here to make the mortgage process easy and simple. Come see me at the Vidalia branch on Jackson Street to talk about your next home purchase or refinance. I look forward to serving you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Oh. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas. This is Anthony J. with Todd Padgett Housing Center. And no, I'm not Santa, but we sure are slaying the competition over here in Claxton, Georgia. We build our manufactured homes more energy efficient, better built, and have the best setup than anyone else. Whether you've been naughty or nice, come by and we'll be glad to show you the Todd Padgett Housing Center difference. Jingle us at 912-732-1466 or stop your sleigh at 5260 Highway 280 West in Claxton, Georgia. Todd Padgett Housing Center. All of your housing solutions under one roof. Dorothy Davis with Southeastern Business Solutions here, specializing in website services, graphics management, and video editing. We have partnered with TCB Broadcasting to bring your sponsorship ads to life with their live on-air programs, which are recorded and archived along with your sponsorship ads as they were aired at the time of production. These programs are viewable by anyone at any time from anywhere on major social outlets like YouTube or Facebook to include tcbbroadcasting.com's website. That's a lot more viewing potential, more than you would get than, than with a still banner that's only viewable by website visitors. With this kind of viewing potential, you want to make sure your ad says a lot more than a simple animated logo can say. These services are only available on tcbbroadcasting.com and the spots are limited. So reach out to your TCB Broadcasting account executive and get yours locked in as soon as possible. You can bring your own video with you or you can email Dorothy at southeasternbusinesssolutions.com and you and I, we can put our creative minds together to come up with the perfect ad that says the perfect message and get you the perfect attention. Welcome back, welcome back to this edition of Community Matters. I'm your host, The Doc. And we are here with uh, the debonair himself, Mr. Mike Hagan, and the illustrious Ms. Ann Owens, and we have been talking about our business summit on tomorrow. In fact, as it pertains to our economic development uh, in the area, there are about seven different forums, um, and 
Uh, do you care to share with all of our listeners uh, what those are and, and give any details you'd like to add? About our initiatives that we yes. have coming up, um, one of the one of the things that we have that we're working on right now, right? Speaking of just of economic development, like well, just in general. Um, okay, um, within the chamber. One of the things that we have coming up with the Public Policy Council is this is brand new and we are very excited about it and Absolutely. it falls right in along with um, this legislative luncheon as far as um, an informational event mm -hmm. and it's called the State of the Community Series. Mm -hmm. It'll be a series of three events. The first one will be in March and it will be the State of the Cities and we will have representatives from both Vidalia and Lyons there. Okay. The city managers, the mayors and possibly other branches of the city mm -hmm. that will um, be there to just update us on what's going on, on new okay. initiatives, on road projects, on... Road know, projects. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, our second initiative will be August 10th. That will be the State of Social Services. I am personally very excited about that mm -hmm. one because yeah. um, we could actually do two or three days on that. Right. Uh, the State of Mental Health in the community. Right. Um, uh, the uh, Department of Family and Children's Services. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we have got so many organizations that many people are not aware of. Yeah. Um, so I think that that's going to be a really important one. And then we have another one that's not even dated yet. We don't know when we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Sometime in the fall, but it'll be the state of the industry. We'll talk about what's going on out at the industrial park, about the state of the ports. Oh, wow. Um, how much we are growing, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I am really excited about this series. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very informational, and we've already got a lot of people interested in it. So Okay. Yeah, and the, the Public Policy Council and uh, the Chamber Board and our members are mm -hmm. excited about this as well. Um, and, and you can see why. It's going to cover a broad range of topics, but all of those topics are highly relevant to the environment in which our businesses operate. So, so you know, getting, again, like we're doing with the legislative luncheon, getting a uh, the, the group of cross-section of leaders mm -hmm. uh, into a forum environment where we can talk about issues that are important to businesses um, and to the community in which they operate, uh, I think is going to be a vital addition to our agenda in 2023. That's good. Now, as chairman of the board, Mike, I mean, are you, are you a one-man show or do you have a, a, a team that's working with you? <laughs> well, the most important team that we have is our chamber professionals. Okay. Um, Michelle and uh, Debbie and Ann, mm -hmm. uh, Dana and Amber, uh, they're really w the ones that make it happen at the chamber. They, yeah. they take care of business. Mm -hmm. And our job as a board is to support them. Our job as a board is to uh, be on the lookout for where we're heading strategically, mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that we are ambassadors for the chamber and the community, that we represent the community well. Uh, if you look at our board, you'll see, just like you're going to see at the legislative luncheon mm -hmm. tomorrow, a mm -hmm. cross-section of the members of this community, leaders of the community that represent education and agriculture, industry, um, health care like myself, uh, a broad cross-section. Right. Uh, but the idea there is that those, me those members of that board are able to represent those segments of industry well um, and help uh, guide the ship, if you will, uh, on the right course. Good. So that's our job. And, and that board, uh, what is it, 12, 13 members strong now? Mm -hmm, 13. Um, 13. Uh, you know, they're a strong board, they're an engaged board. Uh, if you go to ribbon cuttings or things throughout the community where the chamber's involved, you're going to yeah. see a high percentage of those board members there, active and working hard uh, for the chamber. Good, good. The legislative luncheon tomorrow, what time does it start? It starts at 1130 uh, sharp. 1130 sharp. Lunch will be ready to go as soon as you walk in the door and have a seat. Our program will start probably around 10 minutes till 12, something like that. Right, um, yeah. And um, Mike already kind of went over what we've got the um, JROTC. They help us every year and they are a huge, very important part of our program. Mm -hmm. And um, they will do the the Pledge of Allegiance. Which and the JRTC of the, program is this? This is the one in Bada, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Captain Ware. Captain Ware. Captain Ware. Mm -hmm. All right. We sure appreciate him. Yes, we do. What else can we expect? Um, and then we will have the singing of the national anthem you by right. Anna Delgado Brown. Got an up a newcomer. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Um, we are very excited about having her here. She is a board member of the Southeast Georgia Communities Project out of Toombs County and recently signed as a recording artist to Ascension. Sentian Records. Oh, cool. um, <laughs> her company's president and CEO is Luther Warlock. Wow. Okay. So we are. That's I have heard I her We're sing. We're getting it all connected. I have now. heard her sing before, and she is absolutely <laughs> awesome. So. Um, we're just we're really excited about that and then we just kind of jump into the program we do some um we have our presenting sponsor for this year which is optum okay. and um they will introduce the jrotc and anna and um, they are always a big part of the program we we really appreciate their sponsorship That's good. um and so then we'll just jump into the program and we'll introduce our speakers mm -hmm. Let them have their thing and do some questions. And, and one of those speakers is somebody else we know pretty well. I, Isn't I, that right, Mike? I do. I know her. Uh, <laughs> um, we just uh, we just celebrated our 26th wedding anniversary. Oh wow! So I've gotten to know her a little bit. <laughs> gotten to know her a little bit over the years. That's good right. Stuff, man. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good. Uh, Bless. And that's none other than uh, our our state representative, Miss Lisa Hagen. That's right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. All right. Well, good, good. So, 11.30 till what time? 11. We cut it off at 1 o'clock sharp. That's right. 1 o'clock sharp. So, mm -hmm. you come in. Food will be ready. We have how many participants signed up? Or already tickets sold or what have you? We have um, 200. I'm going to say 226. And is, uh, uh, is there room for more? There is possibly room for more. Mm -hmm. um, we do have people who will, at the last minute, they'll call and tell us that they cannot use their tickets. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to call us and ask us. Um, our number is 537-4466. Okay. Just give us a call today and, and see if we've got any available floating around out there. And give us the email again where everybody can contact you if they needed more information. It's info mm -hmm. at greatervidaliachamber.com. Okay. Okay, and and they can reach you there for any questions about uh, yes. the chamber or our legislative That's silence right. or any of these initiatives that we've talked about. That's right. That's okay. exactly right. And um, also, please visit our website. We have a really good Facebook um, page and Instagram as well. So we keep up with those every day, every day, making posts and updating. So wonderful, wonderful. Any final things that we need to talk about that maybe we've left out, uh, Brother Mike? If um, if your business is interested in being part of the chamber, mm -hmm. th those contacts also work well for that. So, um, you know, if you're not in the game, get in the game with us. There you uh, go. Let's let's get in there together and and make things happen for this community That's and good. for our businesses. How many members uh, do we currently have? Oh um, um, business 511 members. now. Wow. Uh, it's hard for me to keep track because it's going up so fast. That's good. <laughs> That's a good thing. We've had an incredible couple of years. We I mean, have. Uh, it, we really have. I've never... Uh, well, I've, on, I've only been here five years, but it, mm -hmm. it is it is amazing how much we've grown in the last few years. And, and I just want to blow the horn of one of my favorite programs, which is the Community Bucks program. Do it. And that's Do where it. you can come in and you can buy gift certificates to over 80 of our members. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a check. Mm -hmm. um, you can take it into mm -hmm. any of the stores. But, but the thing that's very exciting about that is we are putting money back into the community. Wow. We don't charge anybody to get those. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, last year, in 2022, we put in over $40,000 back into the community. Oh, wow. And, then, and the cool thing is they've got to spend them within in these the businesses. <coughs> yes. And and that's that's a pretty big deal. We're yeah, very excited, always excited about that program. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That's that's really good. A, a small membership, What what is the minimal membership cost? Uh, 267 And that's for the whole year? That's for the whole year. <coughs> wow. Wow, small price. It's pay. it's based on how many employees that you have. Okay, right. But um, for a small business, <coughs> two sixty seven, and we've we've got lots of benefits that that include um, a drugs don't work program, mm -hmm. which will give you a good percentage off on your workers' comp insurance. Yeah, well, that'll um, pay for it right there. 
we do have a, a really good health insurance program as well, oh. um, among other things. So Dana Brown is our membership director, okay. and they just need to give us a call, and she'll walk you through it. Sign right up. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, this has been uh, an edition of Community Matters. We want to thank you, Mike, for coming in. Thank you, Thanks, Dan, Doc. for always being thank there. Thank you for having us. Um, we really appreciate all that you all are doing for our great community. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Community Matters. I'm your host, the Doc. As always, we thank Brother Scott Crabb for all the work that he does. Thank you, Dorothy uh, Davis, for the work that she does in terms of uh, making sure that it is archived on our website. Please visit our website at TCB, tcbbroadcasting.com, tcbbroadcasting.com. And you can go there and you can actually see these beautiful person's <laughs> faces on the website. In case you don't know what Mike looks like and don't know what Ann looks like, if she's <laughs> smacking me for... Would have been nice to give us a heads up before that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Happy New Year to everybody. This year is going to be the best Happy year of your life. God bless you. We will see you again on next week for Community Matters. Take care. You've been listening to Community Matters, a service of TCB Broadcasting in Lions. Today's show was brought to you by Todd Paget Housing Center in Claxton and by Vidalia Federal Savings in Lyons and Vidalia. Tune in again next week to find out what's going on in our community with your host, Tony Doc Warlaw, right here on Country Legends Y101 The Fox.